They are the last two surviving leaders from Pol Pot's brutal reign of terror in Cambodia. Now former Khmer Rouge members Nunchia and Kiyu Sempon have been found guilty of genocide by a UN-backed tribunal. The chamber has considered the gravity of the crimes for which the accused have been convicted, including their scale of brutality and the number and the vulnerability of the victims. The chamber sentences the accused to life imprisonment. In a courtroom full of their victims, both men denied the charges. Between 1975 and 1979, around 2 million people are believed to have died in Cambodia from overwork, starvation and mass executions. The vast majority of Khmer Rouge victims were fellow Cambodians, but those murders don't fit the narrow international definition of genocide. Therefore, the defendants were convicted of genocide against the ethnic Vietnamese and Cham Muslim minority populations. Still, Friday's verdict is the first official acknowledgement that the slaughter was in fact genocide, and it could be the final act in the war crimes court's quest for justice. The current prime minister was himself a former Khmer Rouge soldier, and he has made it clear he wants the tribunal to stop. So while the victims may never have peace, it is hoped the decision can help bring them closure. And while these two men were already serving life sentences for crimes against humanity, Friday's verdict carries bigger implications for other cases of genocide around the world.